<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Hey, what's going on, guys? Jake Klein Anime Talk here, and today we are here to discuss Black Clover Chapter 277, which came out on a very unexpected day. Depending on your time zone, it came out late afternoon or late at night which was yesterday. So the official release for this chapter that will be on Viz or Shonen Jump will be out on Sunday. That is six days from now. So we got this chapter a week before the official release is out because during the holidays, Christmas and New Year's, Shonen Jump takes a break. So we will begin this chapter Sunday. The official release will be out for it. However, this chapter, sheesh, I, I got a lot to say. So let's not even waste any more time. Let's talk about Black Clover chapter 277, Red Roses. So this chapter begins with Yuno after bodying Xenon with his halberd weapon after using Spirit of Boreas transformation, which I know I called it an axe slash at review, but forgive me, it's a halberd, okay? <laughs> and you see that is so much blood going down Xenon's face, and we know that he's not done, he hasn't gone full power yet, but Yuno is talking reckless, he's talking crazy. He said, die regretting the fact that you ever laid a hand on the Golden Dawn. So at this point, Yuno feels like the fight is over, he won at this point. And he has a lot to learn because he has no idea that Xenon has a lot more power to show. He has that Uno reverse card that he hasn't played yet, so Yuno should probably finish the job quickly. We then see a panel of Yami and William in these coffins, and the cleaf off tree is actually growing. It's much bigger than we've seen it before. And I don't know why I didn't mention this before, but those coffins that they are in looks identical to the coffins that Zagrid was in. However, it wasn't fully black and covered with devil mana. We then see this cool panel shot of Vanica just chilling in her blood created magic chair and she has this disappointed look on her face because she wanted to fight Noelle so she was kind of down that Noelle didn't show up but she see Rill and Charlotte and it was like okay let's see if you guys will be fun fighting as well. However she gives them a deal she tells them we cannot fight first unless you take out these two members of the Ace Shiny General. Now these are the two H shiny generals that we've seen Xenon go into the Diamond Kingdom and body off screen. Now without any confirmation, it seemed as though they were dead. Like GG, like Xenon kicked them out of the lobby. Like you see the picture on the screen, like does this man look alive to you? Exactly, like he's gone. <laughs> and we see that they have all these runes over their bodies and their eyes are white. So it looks like Vanica is using them cursed corpse puppets. So if these characters are dead, which seems very possible. She's on her 80s type beat, which isn't far-fetched to say because we've seen her Dr. Saipus, they were not dying, they kept coming back to life because of the curse that she placed on them. So maybe this is a different property of curses. Maybe since they were already dead by Xenon, she can also bring them back to life with some kind of curse power, but not necessarily back to life, but have their bodies function, just like how Radies uses his corpse. Charlotte then uses her briar magic to try to take out these eight shiny generals, but they counter her because one has fire magic and one has wind, and her magic type is weak against fire, naturally, even though there are times where she can overcome the flames because with her magic power alone, she has the skills to compensate for it. However, in this case, Vanica mentioned that the curse she put upon them made their magic type even stronger and also Morris did some little renovation to these characters so with Vanica's magic type with her curse power and the extra experiments from Morris their magic type is even stronger and that's why they were able to meddle away Charlotte's briar magic with ease. Of course with Real being there with his pitcher magic he was able to counter both of their magic types. However, Vanica wasn't really impressed with his pitcher magic because she's saying that pitcher magic is cool and whatnot because you can make any element you want, but that's just it. She pretty much called real in this chapter mid. If you were to just sum up her words and uh, man, when this came out, people on Twitter was having a field day roasting real. It was <laughs> real was a punching bag and Vanica started it. Vanica roast this man in this chapter and oh man, people are never going to let this down. <laughs> Venica did mention that she wanted to fight the anti-magic kid, which is Asta, and a dark magic guy, which is Yami. And she was very excited to fight Yami, but she felt as though he might not be that outstanding because he got captured by Xenon. But Venica, since she wasn't there to see how it happened, she doesn't know exactly how did Yami got captured because he did pretty amazing. If you would have seen him fight Dante, I'm pretty sure she would have thought otherwise. But the disrespect that was coming from her mouth about Yami, she pissed off the wrong lady. We see a flashback of Charlotte learning how to use runes, the mana method that was learned from the spirit guardians which she trained with. During those six months, she has been mastering her skills with the mana method. 
And by learning how to use Mana Method, she realized that she has been using her Briar Magic wrong the entire time because we know that as a kid she was cursed by a mage who has a grudge against her whole entire family so we know that her red roses which was originally her magic type became blue roses even though the curse was lifted with her being saved by yami the curse power still lingered and that curse has been suppressing her true power this entire time but with mana method she learned how to use the curse of her roses and her regular roses as well charlotte also explains that dorothy told her that mijikila is the parent of all curse magic all curse magic comes from mijikila so so even though charlotte wasn't directly cursed by mijikila he is still or she we don't know if this demon is a he or she responsible of charlotte being cursed because this person this demon created this curse magic to begin with and brought it to the world someone in the past probably started using forbidden magic and wanted to use mijikila because i'm pretty sure vanica isn't the first host even gordon's family their curse powers have ties with mijikila because the statements from Gordon's grandmother, she said that their family had some kind of contract with Mijikila, the contract of Mijikila, and she stopped talking because she was cut off by Gordon's mother. Now, is it possible that Gordon's family in the past, his ancestors, had a contract with Mijikila, like one of them was a devil host? It's very possible, but his family comes from a line of cursed users, so they have that power, and also Charlotte was cursed by someone who had the power of Mijikila as well, with this curse ability because Mijikila is the founding father or mother or it of that magic type. <laughs> Charlotte explains because of the curse that was placed on her by Mijikila, it made her even stronger. And we see her use Mana Method. And this Mana Method technique that she used with her spell, with her Briar Magic spell was massive because it also grew inside of Real's magic. So Real's magic, the Mana of his magic, Charlotte used that to her advantage and grew her magic even further using Mana Method. Charlotte explains that the way this spell works, the more the curse power of an enemy, the more that her briar magic sucks up, which creates more flowers. So Vanica, well, a Majikula in this case, because he started speaking, he realized that Charlotte's briar magic literally can create a counter to curse powers. So she's pretty much her briar magic is anti-curse magic with this spell. And Majikula realized that he's a natural enemy to Charlotte. Charlotte explains with the history of her battles and experiments, her having the elf mana inside of her still and also learning mana method these are the fruits of her labor and this is what the training and everything that happened to her paid off and she used the true magic of her briar magic using the red roses and she took out the two eight shiny generals with ease using her red roses and we see this transformation and she called it briar queen now when the official comes out the name of this may be different or it could be the same but I love this transformation. It reminds me of Yuno know, with the crown on top, but I love this transformation, man. It, it's so fire. <laughs> Vanica then charges at Charlotte, but Charlotte tells her that I'm not fighting you. That Briar Magic binds someone who has a stronger curse power. And we see that the Briar Magic is starting to wrap around Vanica's body. Mijikila, he finds out that by using his curse power, it only makes charlotte's briar magic even stronger because it even binds them even further so there's nothing that he can do however on the other end vanica is still being immature she's like oh let's have fun while majicula is the one that's showing concern and she's like let's have fun i still want to fight and charlotte tells her i'm tired of a woman like you this is the punishment i'll give you and we see that vanica is fully wrapped up in her briar magic so vanica this this is a huge counter like what charlotte just did alone because real <laughs> just sat on the sideline was like okay charlotte she's very strong but what she did she did what lord pachika noel and nero couldn't do even though with lord pachika's mana method she was able to boost up noel's water magic as well while cutting half of the blood magic of vanica but still what charlotte just did she gives vanica no choice but to use her blood magic and she's completely sealed off in this briar magic so she has to get out of there some way and man charlotte <laughs> that transformation was fire i would give the chapter rating a 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 this was a really good one however this fight isn't over the reason why i know that because you still haven't subscribed to the channel with notification bells on join my discord link in the description follow me on twitter that's in the description as well you guys have an awesome life take care of yourself stay blessed and i'm out